What's going on, Dazzlers? Welcome back to Daz Games, and another Daz watches the gift of inventing. Some inventions are absolutely brilliant, like the pizza cutter. I don't know where I'd be without a pizza cutter. Have you ever tried cutting a massive pizza with a knife? It's tedious! Some inventions need a little bit of persuasion, and when they can't get persuasion, they go to crowdfunding sites such as Kickstarter. You guys know I've been doing this series for a long time where I look at the worst Kickstarter campaigns, and just because the title is worst, some of them are actually rather good! Okay, you know the drill. Let's watch a video! And here we are again. Again? I've never been in this man's bathroom. When was I here? With our old friend, the cotton swab. Which is being used by a man that looks like a cotton swab. <laughs> all right, all right. He's thin and bald, all right? He has the shape of a cotton bud. He's a very handsome man. <laughs> Wait a minute, what did he use? What did he, who has? A leather satchel full of cotton buds. Who carries that around? Is he going around at the weekends just swabbing for DNA? Cotton swab. I'm sure you've seen that face before. Perhaps in your own mirror. You've Don't try and convince me that cotton swabs are irritating. Because let me tell you something. There are many forms of pleasure in this world. Sex. Chocolate. We've already discussed pizza. Pringles. The cheese that is in Dairy Lee Dunkers. On top of the list is putting a cotton bud in your ear. Soon as I twist it. Soon as I twist it. I'm on cloud nine. I don't need any of those other things anymore because it feels amazing! Gone too far. And the truth of the matter is, this is actually quite dangerous. You could risk infection or even damage to your eardrum. I have heard that this is dangerous, but I'm sorry, it feels good. Luckily, many countries are now taking the right steps, enacting new laws to minimize the use of plastic as we try to save what's left of our beautiful planet. Look, I... This is awful and everything. I do agree with getting rid of like plastics and stuff like that. It's a serious issue. But cotton buds have not messed up that seagull's life. I'm sorry. It's it's waste. Big ass waste. Introducing Ears 360. Was it made by Microsoft? Ears 360. All right, let's have a look. Made of flexible, medical-grade silicone designed to protect your ears while providing a thorough ear wax cleanse with our specially designed- But it can't get in there nice and deep. <laughs> I am such a pervert, I swear to God. <laughs> Take a look at this face. That's the look of pure, unfiltered satisfaction. It's a look of bad acting, it's what it is. <laughs> 60 ear cleanse. Effective. Practical. Reusable. Washable and easy to carry. In a bamboo shoot. Okay, I can get on board with that. It's not exactly terrible, but can it feel as good? Sometimes I don't even need to clear my ears. <laughs> I just do it because it feels so nice. <laughs> All right, so that's ears 360. I, I can get on board with that. That's fair enough. All right, next one's called Ebo, the smart robot companion for your cat. Look at this woman. She looks like she loves her cat. I'm interested. Meet Ebo, your cat's new best friend. Ebo is a smart robot that will become a part of your family. Whether at home or away, Ebo gives you peace of mind that your cat is happy, healthy, and engaged. You Why is she waving? <laughs> As if the cat's gonna be the other end, like. <laughs> this is for girl, woman that are just crazy cat women, aren't they? Shut up. App to control Ebo. See your cat through a live stream, direct to your phone. And also record crystal clear 1080p video to create and share videos of your cat. As if this is gonna be used for spying on your cat. Whoever invented this, you have just given every woman under the world to catch their man cheating on her with some bitch. My girlfriend's gonna buy this shit now! Oh well, goodbye secret PUBG and pizza night. It's not a secret anymore, is it? Come on! Who's gonna actually buy this to look at their bloody cat when they're at work? You, you, wanna, you wanna know what your cat's doing when you're at work? It's on the windowsill, licking its nuts. <laughs> it's not doing anything! Look at these options! Meow! Pet love. Woo! What's woo? Ebo is also made from cat-friendly materials, so you never have to worry about your cat touching any of Ebo's surfaces. Ebo is also pretty smart. It can not only do this... Cat's facial recognition... You, you know, we still have cancer to cure, right? There are still many things that we need to cure ASAP! 
and the technology we have. We can scan a cat's face to recognize it, but we can't cure cancer. C can someone help me here? Linda, get on the case. Also do this. Hey, buddy. And just like your cat, Ebo always lands on its feet. Ebo can it clean up after your cat has shit everywhere? Just clearly at work. Karen! We have a patient that should have been checked in for a liver transplant, Karen! 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 She's on her phone. She's talking to her bloody cat again. Karen! Karen! Cat! I. I. Ri Karen! <laughs> Use the app to edit videos, to share to social media, and create sweet gifts. Yeah, yeah, all my friends would have that reaction, wouldn't they? If I kept sending them cat videos, they'd be like, Daz! One more cat video and we're not friends. We're, we're not friends. Use the app to track your cat's steps. Log their steps each day and see your- That cat needs to eat. Never mind weighing it down with a tracking collar so you can take st stupid pictures of it. Feed it! Jesus Christ! Cat's activity compared to global averages. You can track how many steps your cat has done. Who cares? I love animals, but why would I care how many steps they've taken? First of all, they got four feet. So I guarantee you it's more than 12,000 in a day. Oh, Jesus Christ, this is the most pointless thing ever. Does Ebo have style? Well, you tell me. Ebo also- Hey, hey, guys, I know that the, um, I know there's a new season of Stranger Things on Netflix, but- uh, set a reminder on your phone to feed your cat! Alright, we got another thing now. It's only a minute long. It's called Jelly Paw. It's another cat toy thing. What's the cutest thing you've ever seen before? My reflection. For me, it's our furry friends, Paws, and Paw Pats. They are mysterious, and yet the cutest things ever. Why are they mysterious? There's no mystery about them. It's... it's their foot. The pyramids are mysterious. We're, there's a lot we don't know. Like, these... They're paws. Like, there's no- the mystery's uncovered, my friend. Now, with a jelly paw, it's the most interactive cat toy ever. Let me show you what I mean. Try a pink jelly paw pad. Each and every jelly pad triggers a wide range of sounds, from squeaks to purrs. Indeed, it comes with 14 interactive sounds that your cat will respond to immediately. You mean this thing is designed to piss your cat off beyond redemption? I failed to see where the fun is for the cat. Let's press the middle jelly pad. It shoots laser! You will have a blast with them. It excites them and exercises them by triggering the predatory instinct. Triggering a predator. This is just- they should just call this the piss a feline off stick. Like that- that's what it should be called. Why the buttons? Why would your cat want to listen to another cat being pissed off for a terrible speaker? Just imagine when you come home after a long day of work, play- I want to play PUBG! I don't want to be on the kitchen floor making a stick meow! Jelly Paw is as cute as an actual paw with soft, adorable paw pads. It fits anywhere seamlessly. As if people are going to go on Instagram and take pictures of their Jelly Paw and it's gonna get loads of likes. Newsflash, Jelly Paw! Likes don't exist now on Instagram! So schedule a playtime once or twice a day with about 10 minutes for each session. You will be surprised- Yeah, he looks really interested, doesn't he? He's like... You moan at me for, for scratching your leg and you waste money on this sh- <laughs> Alright, there's another short one here. Um, it's called Turn Your Hands Into A Musical Instrument. Grip Beats. What well, I don't know why this would ever be necessary, but here we go. Cool. <gasps> feel like a DJ. Don't forget to take it off though, because when you go upstairs, y you know. <laughs> I'm still not well. I'm still not well. Oh my god. How did he do that? The man's a walking bloody drum set. I've played several musical instruments for most of my life, so I understand the difficulty, the time, 
and the cost, which actually goes into learning one. So why is it that we're still translating our creative ideas by using instruments which take years to master? Because it sounds better than a laptop and it's more impressive and it could be considered an actual talent. Beats is the first of its kind wearable technology which allows you to translate your hand's motion and touch controls into musical sounds and effects. Concealed as a bracelet, Grip Beats in fact offers the versatility of Beats. All right, I guess so it links to uh, an iPad and whatever, and it, you can program sounds to... You still have to program the sounds. You can't just go, piano! diddle diddle din diddle diddle Like, you can't do that. <laughs> I don't know, man. I don't know. I, I, I'm, not, I'm not feeling it. I'm not feeling it. Okay, the next one, it really intrigued me because it's called The First Bed Sheets for Men. And I'm like, why are there bed sheets just for men? Is that not a bit counterproductive? Surely bed sheets are unisex. Jack sheets are bed sheets made for men. Jack sheets. No. Jack Jack sheets just for men really? Is that where they're going with this? And why is this project held behind a massive steel door? What's so secret about a Kickstarter project? You have to have a door like that. I'm sure if you break into area 51 they're all like I'm making some very delicate linen. <laughs> That's right, men. Dirty, sweaty, nasty men. That's the accurate depiction of a man, is it? On the toilet having a crap whilst eating a sandwich. Uh, it's, it's hard to argue with that, actually. It's pretty much most of my day on the toilet. You might be wondering, why make bed sheets for men who would sleep on anything? I wouldn't sleep on any of those services. I want a bed! What are you making out men to be? What is that? Is that a bottle of vodka? It's almost as big as me! Who drinks vodka like that? I didn't know they made that big a bottle. Shit, this must be made in Russia. Well, for the last decade, men have been sleeping on a bed of lies. We have? Why? They said thread count matters, but is that actually true? Yes, it is actually. Have you ever slept? On a poor quality sheet, it's like sleeping on sandpaper. Hey guys, you wanna know how to increase your margins with how I've increased your costs? You, you wanna say that again? You wanna know how to increase your margins with how I've increased your costs? What? What? Your mouth needs more thread count. What did he just say? Simple. Just boost the thread count. <laughs> Why is this entire video being filmed? In a shed. I don't know what this workspace is. It's bothering me. You know how little things bother me. This thread count doesn't matter. Let's talk about Egyptian cotton. Everyone says it's the best. That's be. Wait. What the? What? No. They're not going here. A recent report says 90% of Egyptian cotton in the U.S. is fake. Right. Right. First of all, if that would have been in the Egyptian times and you did that, you're messing with a whole other level of racism, my friend. Second of all, yeah, but if you don't get real Egyptian cotton, it's probably because you've gone to some sort of flea market where they've put signs next to it saying, real, and it's not. You can tell real Egyptian cotton. You can tell. When I dry my balls with a regular towel, I can tell. It's supposed to be a natural, safe material. What you don't know is that some sheets are treated with formaldehyde. But why is this just for men? Why are they for men? Get to the point. Jack's sheets smell fresher longer. So when you forget to wash your sheets for a year or two, no one has to know. All right, I'm gonna explain why there are so many things wrong with that sentence. First of all, who doesn't wash their sheets for a year or two? At that point, your bed sheets get up on their own and go to the washing machine. Second of all, that's great. I, I love the technology behind this. Longer, fresher sheets. But why can't my wife come into bed with me? Our sheets are silky smooth and comfortable for all types of sleepers. Like the in case of- what? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Here's me expecting to pull out a phone. He pulls out a blade. Not even a small knife. He's ready to carve a turkey. Why has he got a knife under the pillow? And did we forget to mention that our sheets have a unique elastic mattress grip? You forgot to mention the part when you explain why this is only for men. Why aren't women allowed on these sheets? That doesn't sound right. You know what? F it. Jack sheets. These are the mother best sheets ever. Why can't a woman you? 
It's really not that deep, is it? All right, guys, that was uh, today's inventions on Kickstarter. You guys love it when I do these. Like, love, caress my channel. I'm feeling a lot better now. I'm, you know, just trying to make sure that this uh, doesn't go to my chest. I'll see you in the next video. Stay dazzling.